Welcome everyone. We are back again in Hogwarts Legacy in part two of our Gryffindor playthrough with Prophetess Kilgore in our hard mode playthrough. So this is my first time exploring the Hogwarts, or the, not the Hogwarts, the Gryffindor common room. So we will be spending a little bit of time running through just seeing what's about. Revelio. Yeah, no chests or anything, which we're not really looking for chests. We're just trying to get on with everything because... Now, which way is the common room? You'd figure he would know because he came in through the common room to get to... I mean, he didn't teleport to his bedroom. Oh, there's a chest just right here, huh? No, it's locked. Of course. Must it's going to be a while before we've got Aloha Mora again. Everybody's talking about us. I forgot about that, how everybody's talking about you. Somebody doing cartwheels on the mantle. That's only slightly dangerous. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. You'll like it, trust me. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. We didn't help you yet. Hello. How'd you brew it? You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Yep. Does awkward. having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Yeah, in high school, I went to school with a kid whose father was the uh, assistant principal, the vice principal. Yeah, the vice principal. And he did not have a good time at school, that's for sure. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butter beer and a Wiganweld potion. Though. I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Why? Right, because you always blow up the potions. Well, it was nice room. meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right. Anybody else we need to talk to in here? Don't fall off this no, time, Nelly. Nelly. That's somebody over here. Oh, perhaps I should... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Um, yeah, I guess so. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Um, yeah, she'll get it. Don't worry. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. I forgot we're supposed to be being mean. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> I bet. 
Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I want to learn non-wand casting. There's the old house chest. We're going to have to be doing that again. Hope a no, it's not this glowing. Time. It's just a very shiny piece of armor. Okay, who's going to tell us that um, Professor Weasley wants to see us? Somebody's going to tell us that, aren't they? No? Oh, introduce yourself to Nellie. Who's Nellie? Oh, she's the one doing cartwheels. I hope a professor catches at this time. Are we supposed to introduce ourselves to somebody who's way up there? Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? about the dragon yep we definitely saw it maybe it a little is bit true, arrogant but I uh, we handled it very well I'll say <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness anyway you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor and Hogwarts for that matter Oh, they all seem pretty exactly excited already. What are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. It's like a small town. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. She's definitely flirting with us. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Who said that? I wanted to see who it was. Somebody randomly spouting off to us. All right, yeah, we'll hunt for chess. You got a crouch? Seriously? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. The field guide. Here you are. It doesn't look like it has any extra room for pages. The number of pages is what? Could be like extra hundred pages or more. Collect what is throughout it? the game. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but 
What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. Rebellion. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Is she going to interact with Peeves? That would be hilarious. Peeves has a special knack. It's I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do you cast rebellion all the time. No, nope, nothing yet. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. It doesn't. Simply cast Rebellio on it, and we'll see. Portrait of Bur Barufio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir, and as an example of what happens when incant incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. You just unlocked the field guide challenge. Yep, we know about field guide. Ugh, do I have to? Okay. Is there something you can tick for a new experience or not? I don't know. If there is, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, we got the challenges. Okay, yep, we got a field guide page. We understand. We gotta collect a bunch of pages. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay. We'll collect lots of pages. That's where we get to learn a little no more. No time to waste. Here. You've classes to attend. Well, there's a chest. It's got money in it. Not sure why. It's just random chests full of money. And the flu ah, locations. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Yep, got a map. Uh, Central Hall. It is this one. Okay. Off we go. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Uh, we don't have Asio yet. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Um, yeah, we know all this stuff, so I'm not gonna deal with it. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Yeah, we're going to we be We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid oh, really? I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare spells. 
aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. She Come never and find does. me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yep, that's a lot of stuff to do. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yep. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Yeah, yeah, quests through those things, and yeah, if it's locked, it's like that. Assignments, uh, yeah, so there are different icons for things. Uh, track a quest. We're going to go to charms first, because I think probably the two classes is all we're really going to have time for today. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Of course. Could have taught us a few more spells. Yeah, we know about Charmed Compass. It is fairly useful, but... What's that? Oh, that's the thing. Okay, let's head off to class. Oh, what's this? Oh, that... Yeah, we'll get that quest going, too. Okay, what's your name? something in there. I just know it. Yep. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Yep. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. You're not going to do it. There. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Yeah, and we can't get those. It's really annoying. Or is it over here? Yes. It's over this here. looks like the location from the painting. Let's yep. get you back to your frame, little moth. We haven't been down for and there we go. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. 
I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Yeah, where'd she go? She's not right here. Oh, she goes up there. I couldn't agree more. Yep, we solved it. Nice and simple. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The yeah, I'm sure anybody could have. I should have seen that. Cobalt Regalia. Oh, that's right. Already level two, huh? I forgot. We're gonna be evil. Well, we're gonna be learning the dark arts. I don't know if we're gonna be evil yet. So, we should put on our dark arts stuff. Because we didn't wear it at all last time go with that okay where are we going oh we're not tracking anything right now because we did that other quest charms class we need to learn asio so we can get all these flying pages I want my broom back and all my spells. Professor Hackett isn't here. Watch, no one's gonna comment on our here. very evil skull Behind you. cloak. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. We never do My, the, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone no, get Hermione into Granger pairs in and take class. positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. We're gonna need that spell a lot. Akio. is not bad you are a swift learner i see a lot of potential but remember potential is nothing without practice keep at it you might just rival miss onai here very good everyone that's enough of that well as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day i was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air after me! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? 
<laughs> so why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? See if we can get Very simply, first cast like Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like Akio, if you will. But in that's it. There we go. Perfect. Splendid. No, nope. a little too much. Nope, just right, barely. Perfect. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yep, we've done this before. Lisa. Only to 30. There we go. You have to do better than that. Akio. That's how you do it. That's it. Let us do this. She did 30 both times. Akio. And stop. A perfect score. Remarkable. That's right. Anything else? Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I forgot there was another round. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. That is how it's done. I think so, huh? Akio. Stop. Splendid. Let us see this. Oh, did I give her fifty points? Phew. I did. Interesting. I didn't know that if you move their balls, they got the extra points for it. Well done. Perfect again. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. Yep. Plus, I've done this before. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. 
Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Yeah, we learned about Wagadu last time. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use a word if tools. you would. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. How does it work on all the dark wizards then? I you guess we're grabbing to their speak clothes. With me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. I still find it kind of odd that we learn all these first-year spells, uh, maybe it's a little bit higher, but we don't really seem to learn any fifth-year spells. Quite Hello there. You're the Hello. new student, aren't Hello. you? You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Yep, sure did. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. All right. Now, off to our Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Side quests, yep. And this one... Problem with your literature? Oh, that's getting the, the library books. Eh, yeah, I guess we should go take care of that and we can get those other pages that were flying around in here anyway. All right, there were a few pages flying around this room. If I remember correctly. There was another one. Pretty sure. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Alright, where is she? Tag her so we can actually find her. Over here. Ah, up the stairs. Revelio. Oh dear. Page for me? I shall get in nope. trouble for this. There's another one is somewhere, everything though. Right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. 
If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Yep, we'll collect the books just because it's experience and we're trying to 100% everything. So I think we're going to have to, have to use Akio to get those books. Got it. Only four more to go. We'll get as much library stuff done as we can. Akio. Oh. That's the last book. Oh, it's actually take trying to do to Lumos. Cresta. That's kind of funny. Lumos. Didn't even see that book. I was looking at the moth. But that works out. Give me that page. Might be cutting a lot of this out. Because we've done it before and it's not the most exciting content. Of all the quests that you can get, it's not the most exciting by any means. I don't remember the library being downstairs in the movies. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Yeah, Unless reward. you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. You don't see the evil court or the evil cloak we're wearing are we joking uh, yeah let's just that's kind of just too mean she's a fellow Gryffindor I wouldn't do that to you Cressida only trying to teach you to be a little more careful well lesson learned I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon now to work out where I went wrong Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Yeah, they never really explain how spells are created in the books. But apparently you need to speak it in Latin. I don't think everything that JK Rowling uses for spells is Latin. Revelio. No, we didn't get this one when we were over here before. Apparently not. Yeah, yeah. Smarmy guy. Yeah, we're gonna do all those later as well, since they have chests in them. Let me out. No gobstone girl? Is she not here? I think she's there later. Oh, we got another clue claim. I don't even see it. That's why I was so bad at collecting them the first time, so I just did not pay attention. I'm already level four? Haven't done anything. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. I would have figured it was because you did it when you were not so to old. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Yeah, I forgot for a while. Levioso and Accio are like the two spells you really have.
Now, oh. let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, good. Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay, let's begin. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Stupid Protego. Levioso. I do enjoy life in you. <laughs> You're good. Now perception. Thank you. Let me open up. all the nice students with this adept. Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> so smarmy. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad points? to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, yeah, right. going a bit quicker That's than I thought enough it would. spectacle for so, one day. Class we'll is have time dismissed. To do one more thing after this. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. No, not quite. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. <coughs> Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till yep, next time. Definitely interested. So I think we might Ravelli. be doing that. Can I help you? Yes, we're here to Sebastian fight. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so. You must have really impressed Sebastian. I guess so. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. 
It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? They don't ever let you duel alone. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! That must be for when they were planning to actually have companions as an option. We'll make you regret signing up. Well, you know. We'll see about that. Um, okay, so R changes targets. But that also does the camera. So how does the camera dependent... I don't know. Oh, you gotta lock on with R3. And then you can change targets. Okay. Come on! wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Yeah, we did a lot better that time than the first time I've ever played. Which kind of makes sense. Already level 5. Yeah, I'm glad I haven't gotten any chests really yet. Can we go out here? We can't go out here yet. Oh, because we're not allowed to go outside yet. We haven't gone to Hogwarts. Or Hogsmeade. We have gone to Hogwarts, obviously. So what else do we have? Do we have time for it? Um, it is Weasley after class. Yeah, we have time for that. Weasley. Oh, what about the Weasley. room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. There I am. I trust your first classes went well? They did did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yep. Professor we Ronan know. did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'd imagine so. Uh, we know about all that stuff. Let's I'm eager going. to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. 
I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Well, we went with Natty last time, so we'll go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yeah, we don't really get to enjoy that butterbeer, I don't think. Oh, and pet a cat. I have to pet a cat. This is the first cat I've seen in this playthrough. So we must get some of that cat look. They really need to fix those meows. Ah, there you are. There I am. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Someone's Indeed I do. And me. an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Yeah, yeah. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. What do we have to do? Revelio. Collect the flying page and the broken statue. And this is the right area. Done. The other one? I wonder where the flying page is. Yeah. Oh, right there. Where'd it go? Did it go out here? Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Must be. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Oh, there she is. Akio. Ah. Brilliant. Might some kind soul help me? What do you want? Are you the gobstone right? girl? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls. Like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Yep, we'd have done the Sounds same. Sounds as sure. if you caused a smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Yeah, yeah. I'll we'll see what it. I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Yep, we'll deal with those later. Where's I'd better keep pages? an eye on high places around the school for Zeno. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. 
Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. I don't know what knowing that your wand is a conduit has to do with being good at spells. All right. Well, he just disappears. Yeah, That's yeah. That's it. Very good. If you would like to oh, practice no, right mending there. something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the Repair. wall. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, we we'll fix that. Now we got four spells, only two of which are useful in combat and not that useful. So. Let us go. Yeah, there's a well, bunch of pages in there. You there. Hello, Sebastian. Oh, ah, I was trying to get the page. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? We shall. Oh. I hope I didn't glitch that page out. The Outer Wilds of Hogwarts. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Yep, we know about them. And there's some mushrooms I think we get to collect along here. And some moonstone. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Hippogriffs. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Says the same thing as Natty does. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? <gasps> Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and <gasps> run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you! A Demi guys! I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon Yeah, it's kind of weird to be afraid of statues. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Here we are. Good old Honestly, Hogmeade. if one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. There's nowhere else to go. Why is that lady just sleeping on the side of the building? That's odd. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. All right. Well, I think we will get a wand first. Or should we get... Yeah, we'll get our spell crafts first and work our way down. Yeah, I definitely don't remember where all the pages are. 
Revenge. Oh, page. Yes, all of Andrews has a page. Mr. Ollivander. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, no, no. We need not something you. dark and mysterious. Mm, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. You definitely don't want to be the wizard who gets A one of the generic wood, boxes. 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. All right, let's get on with this stuff. All right, Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Yep, just one thing.
What happens if you don't dodge that, I wonder? Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We'll wear him down eventually. What was that? A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done! Lord him good. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. Yep, it's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Magic enhancements. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Yeah, yeah. Reparo. Go fix all your junk. Reparo. I don't think that'd sound quite right on that one. Talk to Sebastian, get our gift from this guy. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. You should. We just took down a troll. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Is it any good this time? Plenty for your perusal today. Last Take time your it time. Was junk. Nope, still junk. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Oh, we don't even have to actually walk all the way? Oh, that's right. Don't we run into... Yep. 
baddie boy number two. And baddie boy number one. And number you three. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, Those guys. Our timeline. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. Yep, don't threaten the one I'm who pours the drinks. I'm here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. We could, actually, if we wanted to. But we have better things to do. <sighs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Okay, but first there's a page. I just Rebellion! Saw right here. The Three Broomsticks page. We need that one. Well, we need all of them. For our 100%. At least the majority of them. Well, can you hold still so I can talk to you? And not make me walk so slow? I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Why do we have to return to the common room at night? That's not true at all. Fast travel to the common room. I guess it's just showing us mostly how to do that. And I did hear something that there was talk of implementing, you know, if you're going around the Hogwarts grounds, that the prefects would catch you at night. But the playtesters didn't like it, so they took it out. 
But that's going to be it for this part. I think that's plenty. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, just click that like button and possibly subscribe if you want to see more. And we've got letters to read. Yeah, good old Professor Fig. Go to go see him because now we can continue the story some more since we learned a bit more. But I think next time we're going to be trying to get more pages and I think we do have to go talk to Fig so we can get some more spells because we really need some more spells so we can get our level up so that once we go out and get all these chests we actually get some decent equipment out of it. But yes, so I did hope you, do hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in the next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.